So based on the, the all of the information that we that we are given in the problem, we can set up two equations. So we can use equation 215 for part one of the trip, essentially. And then we're going to use uh, equation 218 for part two. Uh, if that's the case, we can say that delta x sub 1, this would be the first part, would be v initial of the first part plus times t sub 1 plus 1 half a sub 1 t sub 1 squared. We know here a sub 1 is equaling 2.25 meters per second squared. And we know that uh, delta x sub 1 is equaling 900 over 4 meters. Uh, we can say that delta x sub 2 this is equaling v sub 2 t sub 2 minus 1 half a sub 2 t sub 2 squared. Uh, we're going to say here uh, uh, it is given that a sub, t a sub 2 is equaling uh, negative 0.75 meters per second squared. And here, delta x sub 2 is equaling uh, 3 fourths times 900 meters. So we can say that essentially, we also know that v initial of the first part equals v sub 2 of the second part. And this is 0 meters per second because the car is at rest and ending. At. So essentially, we're going to solve these equations and solve for the time. Uh, so essentially, after solving for the time, we can say for part A, uh, the time would be t total. So this would be equal to t sub 1 plus t sub 2. After algebraically manipulating and simply solving for t, we find that the total time is 56.6 seconds. And again, that, that's a simple algebraic manipulation. And for part B, And for part B, we need to use equation 216. Uh, this would be for part one of the trip. Uh, we can say that V final squared equals uh, v, in it, v initial of part one squared plus 2A sub 1 delta X sub 1. And we know that here, uh, this is going to be zero because the car starts at rest. So we can then say that v final would equal to the square root of 2a sub 1 delta x sub 1. This is equaling the square root of 2 times 2.25 meters per second squared uh, multiplied by 900 over 4. And we find that v final at the end of the first part of this trip, which here would equal v sub max, this would be equal to 31.8 meters per second. This would be our final answer for the max velocity. That is the solution. Thank you.